helicopter money the solution. Helicopter money means that the central bank distributes purchasing power via notes or it adds money directly to the current account deposits of households. This is the most aggressive definition of helicopter money. From my point of view, this measure is highly debatable because I'm not sure that the extra money will be spent and not sure that it will boost inflation from its current low levels. More probably, this innovation should destroy the confidence in the money and central banks. It will look like an internal devaluation and not be perceived as a supplementary purchasing power. Money is not coming from nowhere. It reflects the wealth of a nation, its growth, the legitimacy of a state and its ability to levy taxes. So I confessed not being a great fan of this idea of helicopter money. What central banks are doing now is in fact an indirect monetization of the public debt. The ECB and the BOG are buying government bonds, even if it's not on the primary market, and the Fed and the Bank of England are still reinvesting coupons in bonds. These actions are already at the limits of what they can do based on their rules. The effects of this policy were positive for stocks, and they have lowered long-term interest rates and flattened the yield curve. But the results in terms of real activity are mixed, and the recovery of credit remains globally modest. What will central banks do in the coming months? Fed will probably hike in June and maintain a tightening bias in place. The domestic activity is growing at 2% pace and trade in wages and inflation is slightly accelerating. ECB and BOG will probably do more in terms of credit easing or asset purchased as the economy is not robust enough and inflation is still too low. Given the current situation of a lack of final demand, an easier budgetary policy in coordination with accommodative monetary policy seems to be the best policy mix.